Wagwan, that nigga, good people, wanna say. A long time, me no come on over here. My life get back busy and active. So me a so now go on with today, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Ah uh, boy. Anyway, see what time now. A man in Silla Jamaica so afternoon. See? And you know today I'm a friend. Album re release officially. So you know me have to come on and say congratulations from the big album. Um Emancipated. The last album she did the name Ten. Cause she said ten year she um locked down like a prisoner. So she said that one name emancipated. So if you emancipate yourself from mental slavery. None but ourselves can fear our mind. How you doing? It's a long time I don't so now and catch up and you know. Let go a few words of encouragement we don't know. And you don't know the place open back. I'm there all about. But I can't go on like say when the place never open and we lock down with a reason right show regular. I wanna see the thing, I wanna know what's up. So I wanna know say we appreciate all I wanna see them way. Nothing don't change but the weather and the mosquito them. Then But also I could know that one day. Anyway. I rise this morning and when I rise, me I say, you know, sometimes I sit down and you have to look back in yourself and say, are this really going on or are that really going on? We have to be careful of how we are talk about our achievement to people. We have to be careful because not everybody who deal with we actually like we. It's not everybody who comment on that post where we post something actually into it. I just because it named social media and it is a open space for anybody who can say anything with them want to say. See? Because sometimes you want to go up on a host up and scream out loud about the good that God has done to you or for you. See? But you can't too ball out too loud. Because it, 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 it. we are living in a time right now where jealousy, envy, and ignorance take over planet Earth. It's very rare when you hear somebody say them happy feel. It's actually genuine. See? Very few people are genuine nowadays. So big up all of the real genuine people. Them, we actually, you know, glad when somebody achieves something. Glad when somebody reach what they really want to reach, you know. Set a few goals aside and actually, you know, achieve the goal. Because me I tell you, say, you will want to buy a watch for all long. Finally save up for buy this watch here. Put up the watch by your hand and you go sub and on social media. Or put it by your WhatsApp status or anywhere you want to put it. The first thing. You will hear all your hype. See? You will hear all your hype and you go on like you better than people. One of the words them when me eat. When people say to me. When you say, what well, go on? Hear them. Them I look by you the better one. I hate that. I don't like it. That's something that bothers me, bothers me, bothers me, bothers me. Because how can I be better than you? When you are not there in jail, you are not crippled, me not crippled, me not there in jail. Two we have life, we have health and strength, while other people have buckle, some illness and some demons. And you have a look for me. And I say, yeah, look for me, the better one. How am I the better one? 
You see me go up on a plane. You don't know how much time people take a plane and it's like I want the plane ride them go up. Because a man can go up on a plane and the ride and he reach at the show and the show shut down because rain fall. The um, fire marshal shut it down because they must say health and safety and all of them something there. But just because a person go up on a plane, remember you know, what is for you can be for your next man. See? What is for you cannot be for your next man? It's like, me is a man where I see everything already. Although we don't, we, we, when, we, when we say we see everything, we don't really see everything. But we see a whole heap of things. We see the good, the bad, and the indifferent, the indifference of people. And we're not supposed to judge. Not because you see a man on the road look dirty, that no means say he's a dead for hungry. Like it, there's a, there was an incident where a girl had tell me, say, um, she go at the supermarket and a man come to her with a, a paper and I say, help me now. I try to get some things. But before that, before she help him, he go to other people. People think I beg the man in the place I beg. Big man, 40 year old man. So they must scan him, they must pay like him a beggar. They judge him. When the girl say, what the problem? And him say, no, say, I read, I can't really read. My mother's sick. And I try to pick up some things so she write the list give me. So true, I can't really read. True, I can't really read. I ask her to help me to speak out the things them. And she help him. The man sent him in at the supermarket over and over. I try to get somebody to help him. Because at Jamaica, this will live in. You know? Jamaica, this will live. People are very judgmental and everything. When she help him, he might have to buy fair things. And she said, No. Because I learned this from a great man a long time. It's not everything you do for money. And anything you do, when it comes from a good place, you are alright. If you, know, you get the blessing, your kids then will get the blessing. That's why we have to be careful of what we put out in the universe. See? She said when she go outside, the man will drive a Benz. Because everybody have a story, you know. That's why I say illiteracy is a rotted thing. Not because a lot of people have education and them can't read and write. Not for them still illiterate. See? Not for them still illiterate. Because remember, you never hear a man who can't read and write, can't count yet. Never can do the two. Him always can count. So that means that him not fully done. Him just not understand the basic words then. But you never hear no man who can read and write can count yet. See? You never hear that yet. So, I just come on to show you, boy. A full time now, if we stop judge people. Nobody don't care where you come from. Nobody don't know where you do. Nobody no business about nothing. People just assume. Cause not because you see a man in him clean clothes and he mean dress up and go in the office every day. That no means him not have no problem. He have crazy problem. Because I mean, my problem is a hundred thousand dollar problem while you have a next man have a million dollar problem. See? I tell you this in the people. You see hype? Hype go around so. Go around in a circle. Nobody not stay at for long. All you have to do is just maintain. Because you work for your company for 30 years. You will never own that company. You will never own it. Because your father won. You got operation manager. You get HR manager. You're not going to fire from manager. You're not past manager stage. No care what. You're not past manager stage. Manager stage is where you're working at every company. I'm going to want somebody to correct me if I'm wrong. You read supervisor. So once you pass supervisor, you're going to manager. But after right, they saw this, so you buck. They're not giving you no shares in the company. They're not giving you no shares in the company. Somebody correct me if I lie, me I tell. Because I remember say, anytime I say something, more time I'm not always right. I might misinterpret it or whatever. See? But a manager, you stop. See? Alright. Many of us struggle from a low self-esteem. 
a low self-esteem is like people will worry about what others have to say. Remember, say words of power, you know. Because they always tell you from a young, say, so fans are turning it away, right? But grievous words store up anger. Somebody can embarrass me, like how much time them come on and say, Big fat so stinking Richie, and them talk all of them someday. Me know who me is, but you might not take that same way they like how them deal with me. You never take it. So you want to hold a boy there, you want to hold a girl there, you want to ring up your knife, you want to pull them and fight them, you want to do all of them something there. Because the words them where they use hurt you so much. Because remember, you know, we have a page, and the page have a lot of people, and everybody have a comment good boy. you. If me was a fool, I would have think, say, 100,000 people upon my page, and all of them like me. I would have been a damn fool. Because this page is an open page, open to everybody. All type of people upon the page. None of us don't know who follow it. Few people we have a know say follow we. Few people we have a know say, yeah man, me, me know him, me know she and whatever, whatever, but it's an open page. So the good, the bad and the indifference are going to come on. So me put up my picture and people comment on night and say, yeah man, me like the picture with you 100 and you see the whole of that. Why is it every time we see the whole of the good comment, then we don't pay them mind, but it's always the bad one we pay them mind because that stand out. Anytime somebody says something bad boy, it always stand out. When people say good boy, it's like we use the people as a good. But when one somebody says one bad, it act with so much that we want to fight. But I'm here today to tell you, no, don't make people words tear you down. Don't make people words tear you down. So much things are going on in the world right now. And you are going to make one somebody chew off your whole day. That's why I kind of change up my thing. I'm careful of who I start my morning with. I'm careful who I talk to a morning time. Because you see a morning, how you start your morning is very important throughout the whole day. One phone call or one text, you mash up your whole day. Mash up your 24 hours. Because you go answer one phone call or listen to one voice note from somebody that show off your whole 24 hour. That is to how dangerous words can be. You get up, you're not even praying. You're all that we love with phone as we wake up, we're going with phone. And you go go so my we're gone over Pink Wall, we're gone over King Mix Up, we're gone over Dear Dream, or wherever we go. And the first thing we go so my we look and we start look through comments, because everybody look through comments. And we buck up on a comment and it does throw away off. We have to learn how we start. Like, sir, you have to do certain things before you appeal. Social media, mind. We live in a different part of the world, you know. You have right now, 11 o'clock at night or some place. You understand? Right now, a Sunday or some place. See? No for we depend on this, like, the conversation here, yeah, has so much things me have to say each time, remember, because I'm not come on a long time. Monitor your children's tablets that they have on their cell phones from the other day i want to see a whole heap of people have this bag of followers most of these are some like eight year old and some seven year old where their mother and them father give them every gadget in the world and now monitor it so they are inner people inbox them are damn people some of them can't even write nor spell good while some of them are well grown just like how you have all this camera them come on and them say I'm in a competition. Could you help me? Could you help me? And then you see one start entertaining the people. And bam, when them tell us to send this and send that. Nobody not so kind. Nobody not so kind for you to tell us to pay this bill. And say, drop your cash up now. Drop your cash up. I'm paying debts right now. And you, we are going to show you how much cross is now. Well, we're going to send your information. Go and give these people. And then just take you something. And lick your chip because you in a problem and now you go do that and put yourself in a more problem. Just try remember say nobody not so kind. So all the parents them mothers who live with your little young ones them monitor where them are do 
And when we say man it away them because them smart, you know, them claim say them smarter than we, but them can't smarter than we. Them smart. They might know the numbers and know if you do more than we, but we have to know now do. A lot of little children is on social media. Remember, so we in an era now where we cannot control it. Because we give them gadget. Each time them go sub and just like how we can get up and say we are creator next Instagram, them can create it too. So the one you are monitor them create a different one. So everything with them do on the phone is supposed to get an alert every time them try to something you get the alert. All who can read and write so well and you have the smart tablet and the smartphone and everything, get into the game. Don't lose your child to social media. Because remember the things that were up on social media where even me I see and it's mind blowing. Where you think when time them look at seven year when I look at eighty, when I look at nine year old seat. Where you think I got happen? Eh? Where you think I got happen? What do you think I got happen? When I say uno can't read. We have social media where I teach you so much things. Why do you want me to go to my mama there in Europe? And the people must speak in them French language. I just go up on my phone and I want to ask them something. Bam, me ask them through Google and Google translate it. So you have this pretty smartphone here. Yeah. You have this pretty smart smartphone here. Yeah. What is what we do, people? Zin? Because we are live in our era right now where we are wise and smart. So, big people get into the game. You send your child to school to learn all of the something them. Learn from your child. Help your child help you. I see it on the internet so much. That's the whole of the mother them come out. I pay Gucci, my son wear, pay brand, my daughter wear. Pay this and that. Father come out and brag. But the simplest little thing. You don't know. No found who can't even spell the word Gucci on the notch I learn. No found who can't spell the Louis. No found who can't spell none of them Faragamo they and the big name them. I on the notch I learn. When you go in at the store and go buy it. But when you can't spell it, I on the notch I learn. On the why we don't you forget good grades. Why you not take the time and sit down with this child and learn the basics of things. What you did additional to help this child more than say, oh, I gave her money and she's well fed and she's well this and she's well that and my son is this and my son is that. But you have to do it too. Come in by now. We st we still are learning. You know? We still are learn because remember once we are live, we are learn. You ever notice how a little youth take up a smartphone and how them not care how you change your password on the phone, the little youth them and always find it? All I want to do on this internet in my mind. Only you notice not care how. You don't change your password. You don't look at the sun where I have four. You don't look at the data where I have four. I always can't know the password. You saw them brain quick. You don't see that? So we have to know. We are living our time right now. Eh? The youth them are born with sense. Only not look past some, some, something. The youth them are two year old. And they teach them how to trim. How to swim. How them just throw them off into the water. When we little, we don't know nothing like that. Now as the youth them born. They throw them off in the water. And I leave them to help themselves. Only not see that. From what you... I see one little girl in my DM. She not even can write good. I see I come first and then she just start talk to herself because I don't mean she I talk to. She never said nothing where I make sense when I go to my and click. It's a little baby this. Peel it older than her. But she have a gadget and I use it. So she have a message the wrong person. 
and the wrong person go and answer her and start to entertain her and tell her all kind of things because a lot of predators is on this internet, yeah. They don't have to blame the government. They don't have to blame the system. But you never ever have to blame yourself. You never ever ever have to blame yourself. So when are we as adults are going to hold ourselves accountable? When? If Peely, I saw 11, I mean, I tell us that this little girl is younger than Peely. Remember, you know, religion to me a division. We are one people the same way. All of us is one. Our blood runs through the whole way. When me hear people I get up at the top, or them rich and oh, I want to some boy, I want to some girl. Like, me don't know about rich. Because I never hear the rich man tell us I'm rich yet. The Warren Buffett, them man. The Jeff B. Because them man. The, 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 where about the name? Where by Twitter, what the Elon Musk. Them guys, they rich. I never hear them guys. Them guys, they're wealthy. I me never hear them guys, they say they're rich yet. Me never hear it. It's always we. The weekend millionaire. Every weekend we're rich. Because we go in a party and we buy two back like NEC. And we show two money pull up. And we go out with two little things and people think we're rich. We can't reach. Or if we're rich and we have pay rent in a somebody place. Or if we're rich and we don't have our own business. We don't employ nobody. Or if we're rich. And then the lock down the story when you come in there. Paparazzi now follow away and we're rich. That's not rich. But again, I just talk, me attack, me just love chat. That's why I tell you to say, don't follow a bag of people and make a bag of nice. Because sometimes the loudest one is always the weakest. You understand? Me not tell nobody if you do better, or you have to know if you want to do better. Like, we are reason. You don't look and see say, things and time get harder every day. You don't look and see that. You don't see. You don't look at your eyes and see say, People still are suffer, boy. I can go on a perfect example of people still are struggle and people still are suffer. Look at Spice. Give back where she tried to do the other day. Just look at Spice. Give back. And you look and see how much people don't have $5,000. Just think about it, no man. You see me? Just look at Spice. I remember, say, there is still some people when never do nothing yet, never give nobody nothing yet, still had something negative to say. Big and tacky tacky. Big and this, big and that. And when they look at them people and we attack, then they look at the effort. What one person did. Is in a shame. One person took it upon their self to give back to the less fortunate. And they still got bash for it. Still got bash for it. Because one person came from nowhere, reached somewhere, and people still have problem with it. So when you see things like that, happen, what you must do? Strengthen up yourself. Help some people where you don't have to look back upon them in a life. Because right now, it's like you can't even be too nice to people. Because you help out somebody one time and them actually feel like say you becomes a feeding tree. You're actually a feeding tree when you help somebody now. So it's like you have to have a way down on some path where you don't have to pass them people there again. No time at all. 
We live in a world right now where in, if you feel like you help somebody, you help them. You're not obligated to no one. Never make nobody make you feel guilty of not giving them anything. Because you know what? Nobody nothing. Nobody at all, you know what? All of we have a talent, you know, but some of we just don't know we talent. Some of we can't wash good. So if we can't wash good, we go work a laundry mat, or blood clot, wash people clothes. Excuse my language. Some of we can clean good. So we go clean house or whatever. And we talent that. And all of we have a ton selector. God give me a talent to make nice. You see me? Me I know a mechanical engineer. Me no know how to drop out axe. Me no know how to change engine mount. Me no know how to do them something there. But you have somebody else who can do it. Because every brother has a different mind. But we just want to sit down. Alright. When it comes to giving gifts, right? You have to listen to people, how them talk. And people who talk about gifts, watch how them treat themselves. Because a lot of people like your birthday come and they mark say what you want for your birthday. And you tell them, say, you don't like a creed. Or you want a tom food. You see, once you hear them and go up in them throat, them never would have bite for themselves. So they not bite for you. So you have to be careful. You have to be careful. While you have some other people not buy nothing good for themselves, but they want everybody buy them. You have some people always depend on the receiving end and they never give nobody nothing yet. Know the people them where you have in your life. Because you have some people who use a sentimental thing, like all, for instance, when I go to Jerusalem, I'm going to bring back something from out of Jesus' place. I'm going to give somebody that. Somebody when they know nothing like them, not, they never read the Bible, they're not busy about Jesus, they're not busy about God. You can't give them nothing from Jerusalem. They rather you give them money. Most of Jamaica, 90% of Jamaica, are black people. No use to not the sentimental. Them want money. Money them want. Like for instance, no care how enough we watch TV and we see the nice things, them enough we still not adjusting. You're dating a guy. This guy used to eat in out of a box on the roadside all past Sunday. All past Sunday. You take up this guy here. Talk about you want to carry him go a Fridays. Him in a Fridays. Axdale no sell a Fridays. Curry goat no sell a Fridays. Brown stew fish no sell a Fridays. They have shrimp pasta. They have side orders with some little entree thing. Right? They have some other skillet um, chicken, this and that and that. Him have a feel weird in there. Because he used to eat in out of him box. You try to take him out of him comfort zone and him a zone and him don't willing to adjust. He's not willing to adjust, so he and him got a problem. You take up one girl from down on one road. The girl used to get her KFC, her burger, her liquor Caesar pizza, her bleaching cream, her what are them something there. You go take her up, say you want to carry her up on North Coast. Go have. Full course meal. You know the little nice plate then. She ever say you this her. You carry her out to flap her. And a style you style her. Because you take her out of KFC. And want to carry her to an Italian restaurant. You're rude. A rose. Is a very sentimental thing. To me. You don't just get up and give everybody a rose. Because them are going to smell it and I oh, this smell so. Mm. How about this? And dash it away. And you spend your much money upon this rose here. You spend how much money upon this rose. <laughs>